There are no FDA-approved drugs for treating mental disorders associated with dementia in older people. So doctors typically prescribe the same medication used to treat schizophrenia or bipolar disorder. But a new study led by my guest, Dr. Dilip Jeste, director of UC San Diego Stein Institute for Research and Aging, found these drugs were not effective, and in some cases, they come with serious side effects. Uh, Dr. Jeste, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Put this in context for us. Tell us about the uh, mental disorders that are associated with dementia in uh, older adults. The commonly associated disorders in patients with dementia include psychotic symptoms like delusions, hallucinations, depression, agitation, severe aggression. Those are the more common symptoms. Okay, so doctors prescribe these drugs, and I want folks to take a look at them. You, in this study, you looked at them for their effectiveness and their side effects. Their brand names are Abilify, Zyprexa, Seroquel, and Risperidol. Um, what did your results find with these four drugs? Were they effective? Unfortunately not. What we found was that these drugs were not effective and they had multiple side effects as a group. In individual patients, some drugs might work, but overall, there was lack of effectiveness and safety. Before we get to the side effects, did any of these drugs do a little bit better in alleviating symptoms than other, or across the board, were they pretty ineffective? Unfortunately, we did not find significant differences among the drugs. We were hoping that we would find that one drug worked better in some patients, but we could not see that. Nearly a quarter of the patients in your study uh, developed some serious side effects. What kind of serious side effects are we talking about? The Food and Drug Administration defines serious adverse events as death, hospitalization, or emergency room visit for a life-threatening condition. So those were the serious adverse events that we saw in about a quarter of the patients. Were they caused from uh, heart attacks, strokes? I mean, what were these caused from, this, this, these trips to the hospital? Did you know? Were you... Uh, one of the common serious side effects was pneumonia. Uh, a few of the people had um, what are called TIAs. Um, Trans-ischemic well. uh, attacks or <laughs> mini strokes. That's correct. Uh, some people had severe agitation, uh, they became even more psychotic. Uh, so those are the side effects for which they needed hospitalization. Let's talk about the non-serious side effects. Your study found about half of the patients, a little more than half, had a, a series of non-serious uh, side effects. What were those? These were general side effects such as diarrhea, vomiting, headache, uh, pain in different parts of the body. Uh, there is nothing single or consistent pattern for those non-serious adverse events. All right, um, are any of the pharmaceutical companies, um, since these drugs are actually off market, as they say, they're being prescribed because there's nothing else out there, is anybody doing some work on trying to get some specific drugs for these dementia patients? There is a lot of research going on on what are called cognitive enhancers for people with dementia. Cognitive Drug enhancers helping the uh, brain ability. Th that's correct. Mm -hmm. So drugs that will improve the cognition of these patients, such as memory problems, but they are not really focused on behavior problems. Um, one hope is that these cognitive enhancers will also affect behavior, but we don't know that yet. Are there any benefits to taking these drugs in dementia patients, again, um, not the general population for these antipsychotics, that do outweigh the risk? Are they good for short-term use, perhaps? There are patients who have severe psychotic symptoms and where the symptoms can be dangerous to the patient themselves or to others. In such cases, the drugs need to be used. And unfortunately, there are no other drugs that are FDA approved. So use of these drugs in individual patients on a short-term basis is appropriate. Short-term, less than two years or so? I would say less than a few months. Oh, okay, very short term to Up maybe to prevent a psychotic so. episode where somebody might be having uh, acting out issues to hurt themselves or so others. That's correct, so for a few days or a few weeks. All right, uh, in light of this new information, what should someone do if they themselves or their family member are taking one of these psychotic drugs and they're a dementia uh, patient? They should talk with their doctor, uh, find out if the doctor thinks that the drugs are working and are useful for that patient. The doctor would have the experience and knowledge about comparing and contrasting these drugs for individual patients. So it is very important 
to consult the doctor before making any changes. Okay, and we're going to look at those medications one more time. They're on the screen. These are the four medications that you studied. I guess the main thing is to say that the patient should not just stop taking these drugs, that correct? That is correct. C certainly stopping a medication that somebody has ta been taking for some time can also have some adverse events. All right, so some interesting work, Dr. Dilip Jastay. Thanks so much for talking with us. Thank you very much for having me.